So if you follow us at all, or really follow any of my content on any of my socials, you know how big of a fan of Facebook and Instagram ads that I am. I think that they are one of the most effective marketing tools that anybody can use. They're cost effective, they can be scaled up or down depending on your budget, can't be gatekeeped out of them, and you can see very real B2C action come out of them, especially when you know what you're doing. Now, a big problem with Facebook ads and Instagram ads for most artists and even us sometimes is figuring out what do we run as an ad? What can the creative be? What can the caption be like? And I know I'm not the only one that has an issue. As a matter of fact, I have DMs to prove that I'm not the only one having an issue. And there's something that we have learned to do that helps us get over that ideal roadblock for our ass 95% of the times. And that is to see what the big artists are doing. See what the major labor artists are doing and how they're running their ad campaigns and what they're using for their creatives. And you may be asking yourself, but Corey, how am I going to do that? How am I going to spy on the ads of a major labor artist? That can't be done. How can you do it? Well, my friend, I want to show you a little trick that I have learned that will allow you to see the ads that major labels and really anybody is running so you can use it to get ideas for your own ads. It's the network. What's going on? My name is Corey. I am a music marketing co-founder of Country Brand, and I'm here to give you tips, tricks, hacks, and everything in between that can help you get your music lit and finally get you some fans. Now, today's topic is all about how you can spy on major label artists' ads and use them to get ideas for your own ad campaigns and for the things that you're doing around yourself. Now, this tool is completely free. You do not have to spend any money and it will help you once again to come up with ad ideas. I literally use this tool like once a month. I'll go through and look at other artists ads, make like a folder of their ads and the ones that I really like. And then whenever my ad team is having problems thinking of something, I'm like, yo, go through the folder, check it out, get some ideas. So I want to walk you guys through this tool. I want to show you how to use it. And I hope that you use it to make your ad game better, or at least get some ideas on how to make your ad game better. Now, before we get into all of that, come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links will be in the description below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all that good stuff. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So what you wanna do is you wanna make your way over to the Facebook ad library. And the way that you get here is by going to facebook.com slash ad slash library. And what they would do is it would bring you to the Facebook ad archive. And this tool was created in order to create transparency. Um, it has a lot to do with the, the issues uh, with the election and, and the Russians interfering with the election here in the US when Donald Trump was running for president. Uh, Facebook had to put this tool together to show people that, hey, we're going to be transparent about the ads that are running here and who's running ads and all that stuff so you can't blame us for anything. So, you know, terrible reasons why it had to happen in the political space, but a great thing for people like me, you know what I'm saying, people like you who want to know what are some of the major players in the game, like what are they doing for ads? What are they running for their ad content? So once again, you get here by going to facebook.com slash ad slash library. And once you're here, you can literally type in any artist name and then see if they're running ads. Now, a little pro tip, what I typically do is I'll look up artists who are in the middle of an album cycle. So I'll go to like Spotify, or Apple and look at the new releases and then see like who is currently in an in album promotion cycle. Because if they're in the album promotion cycle, they're probably running ads, right? So I'm gonna show you an example with an artist that comes to mind, Playboy Cardi. Let's see if Playboy Cardi is running ads, right? So what you'll do is you'll come over to this bar right here and you'll just type in the name of the artist. So I'm gonna type in Playboy Cardi. Once you type the name in, you have to find their Facebook account. Uh, so here's his right here, Playboy Cardi, 270K, it's probably him. And then once you come to this account where it has like their profile picture, right? You can see a little bit more information on that page transparency, like when they created the page and how many times he's changed the name and all this stuff. Uh, but once you've made it to this page, you wanna come over here to the right and click on all ads. And what that's going to do is it's going to show all the ads that the artist is currently running. Oh, so I was wrong. Playboy Cardi is not currently running any ads for a whole lot of red. That is honestly shocking. So let's try somebody else. Uh, so here we are on YG's page and YG's page is a, is a much better example right now. So YG is running ads and he's running a lot of ads, right? So if we scroll down after typing in his name and finding his page, if we scroll down, we can now see all of the ads that he is currently running. So here's one right here. Looks like it's a merch ad. Yep. Yep, so just like him on the white wall in the hat. Um, here's another one that looks like it's just a photo, another one that's just a photo, uh, a couple more that are photos and another video. And you can tell what type of ads they are by the orientation. Like this one is clearly a, a story ad because of look at how long the video is. It's in the 1920 by 1080. These are clearly feed posts. Um, 
Uh, this one is this one's probably a feed post as well. And then this one is probably a story ad. So we can see all the ads that YG is running. And if you click on see ad details, you can see a little bit more information. So it'll show you like the call to action that they have. Uh, it'll show you like where it links out to. So we can click on learn more and see that it links out to, all right, yeah, it links out to YG's website. So he's running these ads targeting back to his website. So these are the ads that YG is running right now. Uh, let's check out another artist and see their ads. Who else is on an album promo cycle? All right, so I know she's not on the album cycle, but Sweetie, at least as of the time we're making this video, just released a song with Doja Cat, uh, that best friend song. So look, she has ads running around it. Here's a, a video that's just a clip from the music video. So yeah, so like that's just a clip from the music video. Here's a couple other feed ad posts that she has running. You can look at the caption. Like, look at the caption for this. Best friend featuring Doja Cat out now. Short, simple, sweet, to the point. So the big thing that I like to use this for is to come on see the ad ideas that different artists are using for their own ads and then look at the caption ideas that they're using the copy whatever you want to call it you know and, and take note of that take note of how these people are running their ads because they are some of the best in the world or they at least have an inkling of what they're doing in the game some of them may even be paying uh marketers hundreds and thousands of dollars to come up with these things you don't think that doja cat and sweetie hired a marketing agency thousands and thousands of dollars to make this happen for them and you can see what they're doing for free and you can learn from it. So I use this tool religiously. My content team uses this tool religiously. And honestly, you should use it religiously as well, especially if you're the type of person that feels like they have a hard time coming up with ad content. So this is the Facebook ad library. Get into it, try it out. Let me know how it goes. So there it is. That's how you can spy on major label artists as using the Facebook ad archive tool. So once again, I would recommend that you take some time out once a month, once a week, once a quarter, however you feel like you need to do it. Look at the ads that other artists are doing and even other marketers or people that you respect their ad game and the way they market. Make you a little folder of ads that you've seen that you like. And then whenever you feel like you don't know what to make as an ad or you don't have any ideas, go back and look at those creators and go look at what the major players in the game are doing. Because the way I look at it is that these are the people who are playing the game at the highest level or at least probably a higher level than what you may be playing it at. So they have spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on a marketing team to get the copy right, to get the ad right, to get the caption right, to get the aspect ratio right. Why not learn from that? And why not learn from it for free if you can, you know? And this gives you the ability to learn from it for free. So once again, don't take this tool for granted, guys. Definitely check it out. Definitely put some work in. And I'm telling you, it will help you level up your ad game so much. Now, as always, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.